Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and in today's video this is going to be a quick and it's right to the point video. We are going to be showcasing how to make three different types of bunkers in Rust, and this is for new players, advanced players, and in case you are and you know how to do all three of these at the end of the video, I will be showing how to improve the regular stability bunker that's over there. So let's get right into it. So first off, if you're new to the game, how a stability bunker works it's basically the regular one you place two foundations and then you place a low foundation down there and then you from inside your base place a twig half wall here okay to seal it place this here and you upgrade it now from the outside they have to go through an armored wall instead of just having a door right here and from the inside all you have to do is break this twig and because of how stability works in this game it will break that on this type of roof bunker how this works is you place twig frame and thatch of course then you're going to place a triangle roof on the side and you have to upgrade to the material that whatever the rest of your bunkers whatever this thing is right here if this is sheet metal see how it's sealed you have to upgrade this to sheet metal and you can go in and out then when you get off all you have to do is remove this twig and it will reseal now the third but most complicated one is starting to deal with multi TC bases. This one, all you have to do is place a thatch wall or a thatch roof, and it opens it up. You can get in and out, and you break that, and then it will reseal. Now, let's get on to the tutorial of how to build these. Starting off with the first regular bunker, the most known bunker, bunker in Rust, you're going to start with a lower foundation, and you're going to go out with a triangle. Now you're going to go up two triangle foundations like that, and you've already completed your bunker. This foundation right here can be left twig, wood, or whatever you want. It doesn't really need to be upgraded. If you're not going to do, now I'm going to show something at the end of the video, but for now, I suggest just upgrading to a cheap material like stone. Now, you're probably going to incorporate this in a 2x2 two two or a 2x1, so I'm just going to show it as if you're doing that. So you have your 2x1 right here. You're going to place a half wall here a half wall here and then you're going to break the lower one. Now whenever you want to seal up your base you're just going to go ahead and place twig here and as you can see see how the two lines are right on the wall that means that the soft side of the wall so the easier part to break is facing me you want to face that towards the inside of the base is where you will be breaking it from. If not though it's okay you'll spawn it with a rock and be able to break it regardless and then you're just going to jump up you're going to place your twig here and upgrade to HQM. So I suggest bringing 7 HQM with you. Moving on to the second bunker, which is a little bit more complicated. You're going to place a lower foundation with a higher triangle foundation in the front. On the left side, you're going to go ahead and place a full wall and a half wall on top of it. On the right side, you're going to place a half wall and a full wall on top of it. Just make sure that you have a half wall on one side and a full wall on one side. You can switch it the other way, depending on which way you want this uh, bunker to seal and unseal. Moving on, you can go ahead and place your roof and place your high foundation over here. You don't have to make it a higher foundation, I just am in the case of this video. Now, moving on, you're going to, whenever you want to unseal this bunker, you're going to place your wood here, as I showed earlier in the video. Upgrade that, you can go through. And then, obviously, you aren't going to be able to break this armor, but you can just break this thatch when you get off, and it will seal it. Now, onto the multi TC bunker. You're going to go ahead and place your thatch. <clears throat> Leave that thatch for the moment. Let's say you're going to make a 2x2 two two over there. You can go ahead and place whatever I sell. I'll upgrade these for now, just to give you guys an example. And then, you would leave this thatch for now, and you're going to build out 8 thatch squares. And then you can actually go one more, or you can go a triangle. I guess I could have just said nine. <laughs> Anyways, you're going to go ahead and do something I like to call water falling back. Just follow what I'm doing. If you've ever built multi-TC bases, I'm sure you know what that is. And then when you come to here, where it looks like a square should fit, you're going to break that thatch right there. And then you can go ahead and place your wall. So now... The one thing I want you guys to be careful about is when you make these type of bunkers, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and show you real quick. Let's place this. So, now when I place this wall, you're going to see there's 
like a little bit of space each side you look through. So the way you could fix that easily here is with placing frames here. And let's say you upgrade this to armored. You upgrade that to armored, see it attaches the spots. And if it doesn't cover, you just rotate it. Okay? And that covers that. But then on the top, you have two solutions. You either place a floor or a floor frame like this right here. But I'll get back to why it isn't letting me do that right now. Or you can go ahead and place a triangle roof like this and add that in as honeycomb. And that will cover it. But my suggested suggested way is to go ahead and place this frame. Now it won't let me do it because it's armored and it won't let me do it with sheet metal or twig. But if you go ahead and upgrade to wood, and let me just get to place. There we go. Then you can go ahead and upgrade to armored. It also works when it's stone as well. Okay. Then you can go ahead and upgrade both to armored. And now it works. So all you have to do, and I suggest upgrading this to armored as well, obviously. Now you can go ahead and place your twig. It opens up. You can do it from either side. And yeah. So then for the we'll go ahead and move on to the last bunker of the video. This one is the same as your other type of bunkers, like the regular type of bunkers in this game. As so. Except, the only difference that I make from this one over here is that instead of upgrading this to stone, I go ahead and break that. I place two drop boxes. As so. And it's extra storage. Now you can go ahead and go like that, as so. And you can go ahead and place your thatch here. And you can go ahead and seal it up. Now, you can seal it up like this, but if you make, let me show you. If you make these foundations high enough, okay, like this. Um, let me go like this. Let me show you guys real quick. If you do it high enough like this, and you get rid of this, and you put your drop boxes around right here, you can place a small box down here, and you can go ahead and seal yourself in your own bunker. So then when you get off, and you get back on, you can just break it. So then you're not actually having your body exposed out here, and you don't have to F1 kill and stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for 470 subscribers. I truly appreciate it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this could help you in some way, and I'll see you guys next time.